okay hello guys and once again welcome back to the channel so for this video i'm going to give another explanation and directions on how you can apply the glass fence in the housing system uh, first off we are going to check out the house tour on how i was able to include or integrate that design in my own house build okay so first off let's visit the house so this is the house that I've built. Uh, do take note every time you build a house, uh, take note the ratio or how wide, how big the house would be so that you can make sure that you can place your furnitures uh, correctly. Uh, what I mean by this is that you can place furnitures in a way that the room won't look too wide or too narrow. So this is my living room. As you can see here, I chose the staircase to be built against uh, the wall on the side of the house this would prevent the whole appearance on the second floor or on the third floor because if you've tried building houses every time you put a staircase uh, it looks like there's a hole beneath it so that's one of the good ways to avoid this i can show it to you now so upon reaching we can just place a wall and some dividers in order to cover that hole up so this is my kitchen as well so if you want to have a countertop table that you can place on the corners of the room you can use the cabinets as well so you can either use this for gardening or for a tabletop counter design on your room I know that a lot of players have been looking for a replacement on how they can cover each corner of a room every time they design their kitchen so this is one good way in order to do that you can also put some ovens in there and other decorations now the only reason it's empty right now because i don't have enough housing decoration funds in order to fill them up same with this part of the room okay so once you go out here as you can see here i have integrated the glass fence in my second floor the only reason i don't have windows here is due to some error when i built i built this space you can't create this directly into the house you need to create it outside then connect it afterwards i'll be showing that to you in a few so this is the second floor now for the third floor this I'm very fond of open spaces concept as you can see here I don't like dividers as much so for the third floor this would be the bedroom since I don't have enough funds yet probably I'll be placing a couch here some TV there similar with the living room below so I've used the aquarium and the cabinets as a divider in order to cover the hole that will be created every time you create a staircase now this is the bathroom as you can see here it's still kind of empty but even though it's not that big you can see here that decorations doesn't fit the toilet seat is very small um, the sinks are big the showers are big however they do not correspond with the ratio of the room so I'll probably be including um, the jacuzzi here or a tub once I have enough funds now one of the hidden rooms here would be this balcony so as you can see here I have a Sakura 3 in my third floor some seats some coffee table so it's a cool place to hang out with if it's <laughs> reality and as you can see here I've integrated the windows so it looks like all the four all four corners of this space is window so that's just an illusion so I'm going to be showing you on how you can do this as well. So let's go back to land. This is the garden that I was talking about earlier. If you've watched my previous videos, you should be able to do this as well. It's very easy to recreate. Okay, so now let's proceed on steps on how to create this option. I'm going to sell off. I won't sell that first. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you how you can in integrate this into a build. So let's say you already have a house. So if this 
if if this is let's say part of your house the thing that you need to do would be to delete one of the walls after deleting the walls oops, we just need to select that option and connect it to the So you need to make sure that the measurement is correct because if it's not then there were there will be a lot of issues so let me try to adjust this first let's make it wider okay then delete that side or part of the wall where you want to integrate this option then move it So that's how you can integrate that into a part of your house. So you can do that on the second floor or on the third floor. If you want to do this on the second floor, just create this option on the second floor. If you want it on the third floor, create it on the third floor. Okay, so let's proceed on how to create that glitch. Or maybe it's really a game option. But either way, this glitch is actually very useful. So first off, you need to use the basic room. Create a room. If you are very fond of measurement, make sure to measure the type of structure that you want, where you can fit the number of windows that you need. So this is very important. A lot of players skip the video, they just proceed, then bam. They end up making a mistake, then they have to redo everything else. Okay, so create the basic room. Click on your hammer or the remove button. Remove each wall individually. You can remove three walls only. If you remove this other one, <laughs> then the structure will collapse. Afterwards, click on the basic wall. Recreate the deleted walls. So it will always show that it's processing. You're doing it frequently. Just wait for it to finish. Then proceed with the second wall. Wait for the prompt to finish. Then afterwards, create the third wall. So we now have an enclosure. Now, the thing you need to do now would be to click on, make sure that this is up. Then click on the first wall. You can see that the first wall is highlighted in the white. So make sure that only the first wall is selected. Click on self. Click on the second wall, click on cell, click on the third wall, then cell that as well. Now this time around, click on the whole structure by clicking on the remaining wall or the anchor wall, then click on confirm. This will revert back the walls to its original position. Now this walls or the walls are now glitched. So use the windows. Then place them in accordance with the design that you are planning. So I'm going to be placing in the ends. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier. Make sure to measure the houses or the structure before you do the glitch in order to fit the windows that you need. This is a very good advice, believe me, because you don't want something that's not balanced once you create once you create this option. And as you can see here, it's no longer balanced because it was not measured properly. So I'm just going to leave it like that because this is only a sample of video. And then cover the other side of the wall as well. You won't get a very detailed or measured structure. The windows will always have an instance wherein there would be gaps uh, like this one. That's okay if it's on the side, but if it's on the front, it's going to be a big issue because it can easily be seen. 
so that's up to you so after placing all the windows you can either click on leave or you can just visit a friend's house so visit a random player's house just wait for a few seconds let it refresh then go back once you go back you can already notice that the walls are gone but the windows are left in place now you now have three sides of that location with windows now if you want to create the illusion that all sides are windowed just simply add windows on your anchor wall Okay, there we go. There we go. So you can just place a door there in order to enter the balcony. You can also go to your second floor. I'm just going to go to the second floor to delete the roof or the ceiling. So there we go. You now have a balcony. You can either put a column there if you need the top, then don't delete. But that is how easy it is to do the glass fence if this video helped you out make sure to click the like the subscribe and leave a comment if you have other options you want to ask for if or if you need help with any other features in the housing system we'll be glad to help and once again thanks for watching and have a good time playing